Hey beautiful Virgo, welcome into the Gifted Hermit. I'm going to do a general love reading. It may or may not resonate with you. If you find something that does resonate with you, please smash the thumbs button and show me some love. I'd really appreciate it. So first question we're going to ask, who's currently thinking about Virgo in love? Six of Cups, who's currently thinking about Virgo in love? Who's currently thinking... Who's currently got Virgo on their mind? Who's currently got Virgo on their mind? Who's currently got Virgo on their mind? It may be, it doesn't have to be the sign, it may be a Capricorn that has you on their mind, okay? Um, there's a struggle here, there's a battle here, battling with something here, healthy versus the unhealthy. Um, I've got a, I've got reason to believe that whoever this is, there could be some distance between you both with the six of swords. Or maybe it feels like somebody's moved on, or there's distance, you know, um, things have changed type of energy. So it may have been some time since you spoke to this person saw this person okay i reckon who is it that is thinking about you remember this can be transferable energy there's an energy here where it's like i need to move on from this because it's more of a struggle than anything um i somebody may be realizing that this is kind of toxic or things became toxic okay maybe yeah whoever it is that's thinking about you you guys became distanced because things became toxic. Maybe you started disagreeing, um, arguments and so forth. Okay, well, there's definitely a battle here with uh, good and evil. What's good for you, what's not good for you type of thing. Okay, a lot of physical attraction either was there or is still there. We will clarify some of these energies. Okay, who wants Virgo? Who wants Virgo? Nice. Who wants Virgo? Beautiful energy with regards to who is it that wants you. Okay. Um, we have somebody here looking towards the future. There's a sense of, I want to get married. I, and this could be how you generally feel. I want something that's committed, something that's going to grow. I want to grow old together. So it could be that somebody wants to grow old with you, or this could be somebody that you want to grow old with, okay? Quite beautiful energy, to be fair, with regards to who is it that wants you. That surprised me a little bit. Who truly loves Virgo? Whoever it is that truly loves you, they think about you a lot. Before they go to bed at night, when they wake up in the, in the morning. Who truly loves Virgo? Could be somebody in spirit, one of your ancestors, who truly loves Virgo. Empress card. There's an unconditional love here. No matter the circumstances, I'll always love you. It could be a Taurus, a Libra, it could also be another fellow Virgo. Okay. So we will start to clarify perhaps what some of these cards are saying okay with regards to who is that's thinking about virgo tell me more about this five of wands tell me more about this five of wands definitely with regards to who is it that you're thinking about or who's thinking about you i feel like you guys um are definitely distant from each other maybe have broken up this seems to be or was at least a strong connection we have gemini energy here there was a lot of overthinking a lot of spying on each other i reckon you're thinking about this person also and i feel like a lot of you guys are checking up on this person and vice versa they're checking up on you okay yeah there may have been this overthinking may have jeopardized the connection With regards to who's it that wants Virgo, tell me more about this Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here? Why is the Four of Wands here? Why 
Why is the four of wands here? So I feel like, as with all connections, marriages, relationships, there's ups and downs. I feel like this person still has hope. I feel like there is going to be struggles. There may be an energy where you need to work hard, you need to fight for it. So it could be that with regards to the person that wants you, that's what they know. They have faith, despite the ups and downs, despite the setbacks, the arguments, the disagreements. They're willing to work on it. They're willing to work on this connection. And maybe that's what you want from them, okay? Okay, with regards to who truly loves Virgo, tell me more about this Empress card. Why is the Empress card here? Why is the Empress card here? Why is the Empress card here? The Empress card is clarified by the Eight of Swords, the Hermit card again, and the Seven of Cups. So although there is an unconditional love here, this person, you're stuck on this person. Or they're stuck on you. It's stagnant. Maybe, you know, things are just not happening right now. There's a sense of confusion. You know, um, uncertainty. Something here to do with choices. Maybe the choice is yours, Virgo, and you need to make the choice to perhaps get out your head or realize something here. Something or someone is not serving you. It could be a way of thinking, okay? Sometimes overthinking can sabotage connections, okay? Hmm. Good old Virgo, yeah? That's what we do. What's coming towards Virgo? Okay, so it's time to think more clearly with the Queen of Swords energy there. Who or what is coming towards Virgos in love? What's coming towards Virgos? What's the energy? The Ace of Cups, new connections, new horizons, your heart opening. What's coming towards Virgos in love? Knight of Swords, someone's coming in thick and strong. Well, what's coming towards Virgo's in love? An intelligent person. Wow. So definitely a fated connection here seems to be coming towards you in love. Okay. It could be with this king of pentacles on the bottom of the deck, which can signify earth energy. Somebody that has their own business. They can be stubborn at times, but very grounded energy. Got a good work ethic. Okay, self-made type of energy. Tell me more. But this seems to be a fated connection or a destined connection. Okay. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups. Yeah, I could be talking about the same person that truly loves you. What I see somebody here, either a fresh start, a new person, or um, a resurrection of an old connection here. Somebody clearly still has feelings towards you. There is a sense of determination, determination to win you over, win you back, love on you type of energy. It's not going to be for everybody. My sceptical workers. <clears throat> right, what's the hidden truth? I hide behind material things. I replay our conversations over and over. Finding out the truth crushed me. I'm afraid to contact you. Two more cards. What's the hidden truth? I want to feel that way again. I look for you everywhere. <clears throat> okay, that's what I have for you for this general love reading. 
again it's not going to resonate with everybody you may see that the comment section is off i feel like i need to protect my energy right now obviously a lot of you guys are very loyal very supportive there is a you know a very small amount of people that give me comments that i overthink and i don't want to overthink i overthink already so i'm just blocking the comments just for now but please again you can still support me by sharing the video smashing the thumbs button remember you can book me for a personal just get in touch follow me on the socials catch me for live tarot from one Virgo to another i love you i appreciate you be kind to others as i always say but most importantly be kind to you and the gift will catch you on the rebound Mwah.